Um, while I was in private equity, we worked on a business deal with Virgin, Richard Branson's Virgin Group. Does everyone know Virgin Group? Yep. And uh, as a matter of interest, how many of you are marketeers? How many of you are entrepreneurs? Marketeers? Yeah? Bit of both? How many of you are in, in agencies? Big companies? Small companies? Right, okay. Virgin is a collection of small companies. And um, I landed up working on one very small business where Richard Branson was involved with this deal, but you know, I, I never got to know him or particularly spent much time with him. And one day the phone rang, and uh, there's a slightly hesitant voice on the other end of the phone. And he said, oh, uh, uh, hello, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, 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 Richard. So I said, Richard who? <laughs> so he said, oh, uh, um, um, pum, pum. Um, he's got this funny pum, pum thing. Um, pum, pum, Branson. So <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and he said, no, no, really it is. So anyway, we started talking. <laughs> and he said to me, would you like to come and work here? So I said, oh, uh, yeah, OK, well, you know, shall I, shall I pop in to talk about it? Yeah, good, OK, come in to talk about it. So I turned up the next day for a job interview and uh, expecting to have all these questions fired at me and I was thinking about what the answers were to the obvious questions. And I sat down and we sort of stared at each other for a while and it became clear he wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> so I said to him, well, you asked me to come here. What do you, what do you want me to do? And he said, uh, what can you do? <laughs> That's the one thing you never expect to be asked, do you? I analyze my weaknesses, strengths, all that, the usual crap, but what, what can you do? So I said, uh, deals. I can do deals. So he said, great, deals. <laughs> we need someone to do deals. Come on in. And, uh, and I was so kind of embarrassed. I didn't really know where to go from there. So we sort of shook hands and I left. And I went home and, <laughs> and told my wife. And she said, well, did he actually offer you a job? So I said, I think so, but I'm not 100% certain. She said, did you discuss money? And I said, no, not at all. Phone him up and ask him about the money. <laughs> so I phoned him up the next day. I said, what about the money? And he said, well, what do you want? So I told him, which was a you know, kind of city salary. And he said, oh, God, that's way too much. I can't, can't possibly afford that. So what we agreed was I'd accept a lower salary, but within two years, I'd get the opportunity to start up my own business. And that seemed a fair trade. I'd always wanted to be an entrepreneur and this seemed like a fantastic platform to be able to do it.